My question is, what happens tomorrow? When debris is currency to pay for sorrow. When the streets are set ablaze and firing follows. When we scream and cry and pray and still hear no. I hear they're planting cops to fuck with shops so they can justify. Flying helicopters taking shots to scare us back inside. I hear they spread disease and hide the cure to tell us we should die some more. Then wonder what we're fighting for like we ain't set our lives. I had a dream the world was over. The rich ones had to hide. The politicians went quiet, so the sick ones had to die. The numbers had no meaning, so the banks caved in from ceilings down to demons flood the streets, and I can't see God in the sky. So we ask who's on our side? Like, we don't all die alone. Like, this world ain't one big coliseum, and we watch from behind our phones. Here's the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you really didn't know. Maybe you didn't hear me plead. I couldn't breathe whilst on the floor. But maybe now you'll hear me better unless you've planned for something more. Unless you've covered up your ears the same way that you've done before. But trust me, you better listen before one of us goes missing. And although you think we're weaker, I just wouldn't be so sure. My question is, what happens tomorrow? Because right now we're asking for something. But what happens if we get it? What happens if we get what we want? And I'd like to pose the question of, are we going to be taking care of our communities if we are left alone, if we are allowed to, to walk freely on the streets, or if we, if we are given the human right to, to live and survive, you know, will we take care of ourselves? Will we take care of our own communities? And this next poem poses that question because, you know, right now, regardless of whether we're being attacked or we're attacking ourselves, it ain't safe outside. A mother told her son, and while she struggles for rent, he's trying to plot on how to stack sky high. Like 50K in a month, but only dealers round the street know how to cop that stuff slick and sly. What do you do when at night the neighborhood gets too scary to navigate? With monsters lurking in every alleyway, ready to take what's on you regardless of how you made it. And they've got nothing to lose, so death is sitting adjacent in that situation. The son vowed to never be complacent. The only way about the hood, it's, it, it's like the Matrix. You got to take them pills. But he didn't take them like Neo. He was more like Morpheus, an untrained pharmacist prescribing drugs to more of us glorious. A few weeks passed and he went from pouch to backpack. Upgraded shoes with new laces, same color as the powder in his bag now. This boy had never spent that much on his feet. So this summer, he's confident he can outrun everything any heat and for protection of his cake he feels he must get a piece so he upgraded from his slice with a steel now he has rocks in his sack that were not his to take but oh his chrome proves trusty inches away from a face and now he's able to tell you where to find sugarcane but pigs already smelt the sweetness and are on his case it ain't safe outside a mother told her son not knowing he's part of the reason why it ain't safe outside. She's trying to protect him from himself. Articles on alley shootings and his hands is where that blood runs. Dust on his PlayStation 1 because playing first person shoot is a lot more fun when it's said and done. But he's yet to see the outcome. See guns make noise and he's a loud one. Money's even louder when jealousy is a problem. You think you run the city, it's laughable how you doubt them. Who? The ones like you. They never had it either. They have nothing to lose. Be in a league with them boys, you got some work to do. They're not friendly and you're on their turf. But you looking fresh as hell. Go flex on girls. Matter of fact, go flex on the world. Hey, show them what you got. Till the party stop. Out late in that party, tell your mama worry about. But, but, but you got the juice. You don't even have to worry now. Out here dancing with red hands like the party clown to match the red bottom shoes that made you drop one thou. See, everybody's dancing and it's sundown. There's a lot of faces in this party, including the clocks, including your watch. And time tells that in 20 minutes your tick tock will st stop. But you can't hear it 
The music's too loud and the lyrics are not coherent, but everybody knows the chorus and it's about to drop until blah, 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 and that's when the song stops and everybody's rushing to the exit. Get out, get out. But you be feeling invincible in the his house. You spot the culprit. He's got this cold stare like no other. That's when you realize you should have listened to your mother. You recognize him. He gets straight A's and nothing under and he's going to end you the same way you did his little brother. Blah. The gang members jealous they didn't get you first. Mama thinking you innocent only makes it worse. Nobody's snitching, so the cops are in for a long search, and you just became a statistic through all your hard work. All right.